Hi guys and welcome to today's video on time zones. Hopefully this is going to be really, really useful. It's not going to be a very long video because there's not a lot of content here, but it does build on the ones I have done previously for this further maths course. If you haven't watched the previous videos, you can head over to mathsguru.com. If you're not already there and search by chapter and textbook and get downloadable notes um, and more resources come in soon. There's exam answers too. Um, if you're not wanting to do that, not a problem. If you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be great. Never going to be rich never going to be famous but it just helps me knowing that you're watching believe it or not uh, i sit in a room talking to myself for a lot of hours a day and uh, it's just nice to know there are people watching i'm never never ever gonna <laughs> be big but it, it's great to know that at least you're watching all right, so time zones. In a previous lesson, we were looking at what lines of latitude and longitude were, and I keep getting them the wrong way around, but I'm getting better because I'm finding ways of learning it, all right? Latitude and longitude are really important to us. There were lots of maths behind this. Sacks are based on latitude and longitude. But one of the most funky things, and that's the great thing about the further maths course, it actually has practical relevance to the work that we do uh, in real life, our time zones. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. All right, and these, ladies and gentlemen, are the time zones of the world. It doesn't matter where you are watching this, the chances are the time is different from, unless you're watching it in Australia and in Melbourne, uh, that we will actually be watching this at different times. Why? Well, it wouldn't make any sense for the Earth to have the same time, would it? Because, well, it's at the moment, what time is it now? Looking at my Fitbit, it's 11.41 in the morning. So it's 11.41 in the morning here. Uh, way back in the United Kingdom, it's, well, what would that make it now? It would make it in the middle of the night. Right? It would be very silly if it was dark outside and we said it was 11.41. So we've had to make times so that when the earth rotates and gets to a certain place so the sun hits it, we call that a certain time because we all want to have daytime when it's light and nighttime when it's dark. So here are examples of time zones. Now, sadly, uh, further maths um, doesn't necessarily understand time zones in the same way. We all think that time zones are beautiful straight lines in, per in further maths. But what you can see here is basically there are strange variations in time zones that mean occasionally they're not straight lines. But for all intents and purposes for further maths, you need to realize that the world is split up into a number of time zones. In fact, 24 of them. Why? Because there's 24 hours in a day. No, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mathsguru.com, yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier search than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much, take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.